Hello there and a very good afternoon. The Bau district level Gawai festival will feature the authentic Bidayuh dishes at the Dewan Suara Kuching this coming Saturday. Demonstration for the preparation of Kau Ikien, which is fermented fish, and Tua, which is rice wine, as well as Kasa, which is traditional Bidayuh mat weaving, will be among the most anticipated activities during the festival, while there will also be the serving of Bidayuh food, such as Pogang, Kau Ikien, Ayam Pansuh, Tutuak Sorai, Kasam Sabih, and other traditional cuisines. Jointly organized by the Bau District Office, Dayak Bidai National Association, DBNA Bau and Serapi Branches and Bau Service Center, the event aims to showcase the traditional and cultural activities, practices, cuisines and fashion of the local Bidaya community. Among the activities to be held include Sukan Rakyat such as Nyagu, which is the grating of Sago Loks, Poh Podi, which is the pounding rice with mortar and pestle, Nindeh Boras, which is rice winnowing and trashing, and Nitua Elo, which is Sago leaves weaving. Education, Science and Technological Research Minister Datuk Sri Michael Maninjawong is expected to be officiate to officiate at the Gawai dinner. Hard work will be the prerequisite for Gabungan Parti Sarawak GPS to retain the Bidayoh majority seats. According to Surambu Assemblyman Miro Simo, it was important to provide the necessary assistance to help uplift the living standard of and to reach out to the Rakyat. At the same time, he stressed that the Rakyat should get rid of the negative perception that has been fostered by the opposition against GPS leaders. Manyin, who is also Assemblyman for Tebedu, one of the eight Bidayuh majority seats, made the statement at the Gawai Daya Open House at the Daya Bidayuh National Association DBNA Center in Kuching. Miro said it was also crucial for GPS to show to the Rakyat that its leaders could deliver to the people. A 48-year-old 40, police officer attached to IPD Bintulu shot himself dead at midnight yesterday under unclear circumstances. The incident happened in front of IPD Bintulu's weaponry branch and the case was confirmed by Bintulu Police Chief Superintendent Zulkipli Suhaili. The deceased took a weapon of a heckler and coach MP5 submachine gun and four magazines before putting it under his chin and firing three shots. It was reported that prior to the incident at around 12.05 a.m., the deceased and his colleagues had just reported for duty for the 12 a.m. to 8, to 8 a.m. shift. The case has been classified as sudden death. And that is all for now. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak, anytime, anywhere.